This is a story of a boy, your firstborn, whom you call Simon Peter, like the first apostle. And you, the father, Robin. You became an architect. And as all architects dream of doing, you built your own house, near the center of Dublin, where we all grew up. In this house, the dream of the modern world, a modern Irish world, became a reality. Although I didn't know all of that at the time, I was an excited young boy when you took me on the weekends to your building sites. One day, when I was 10, we went out to Maynooth College. I knew that it was yours because it seemed to float above the ground. So elegant. I was proud you were my dad. And the restaurant building at University College Dublin. I'll never forget climbing that staircase after you. But when I was 16, your edifice cracked. For a long time, it was as if you weren't there anymore. You left the practice of architecture and began to write. In all of this, I see that you were very much alone. So immersed in your writings, and you barely seemed to notice the life you had made for us. Man's image of place, particularly of home, seems to me instinctual and explicitly sensual. And this image and his demand to satisfy this image are normal expectation. If event and place in memory are inseparable, and so action and environment are inseparable. The idea of place is only a rough practical approximation. There is nothing logical necessarily about it, and it cannot be made precise. If place cannot be made precise, Perhaps neither can a person. 